Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video, and today I got a bit of a twofer for you as we head to Target stores to check out two new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label exclusives. The first one hailing from the Wildstorm universe to then the DC Comics universe and a future film by James Gunn with the authority. We have Midnighter, part of the DC Classic subline. Character I can't say I was absolutely clamoring for, but he does have some interesting artwork on the back side of the box. Look at him taking on all those dudes. Anyways, here's the barcode. You can pick them up at Target stores now, or I have links down in the description below if you want to go ahead and order them. Now, the second figure today will be Wave Rider. And again, much like Midnighter, not necessarily a character I was clamoring for, but when I saw him in stores, I thought, yeah, let's let's talk about this guy. He is the Booster Gold version of Wave Rider, thanks to some timey-wimey activities. Better left unsaid, but he got some artwork on the back. He's got the whole glowy thing going on. Firehead, you get the idea. Here's the barcode for Wave Rider as well. So, this is going to be... An absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Target Store Gold Label exclusives, Midnighter and Wave Rider by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you crime fighters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates... Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So you got both boxes, you open them up, you get rid of those awful, just awful twisty ties that are everywhere in the boxes. But you got two interesting looking figures that are reused repurposes of prior released figures. With Wave Rider, you get some special power effects that have a little bit of paint on them, but they are reused, of course, from prior released Flash figures which is not necessarily a bad thing. They are cool looking, but ultimately I would say yeah, they kind of work, they kind of don't. I'm going to lead more towards, yeah, it's nice to have them, I suppose. Some of them work, some of them don't. When you want to get him in a flying position, you can have them kind of clipped on the bottom of his feet, and that looks fine. But as you'll soon see, the head portrait doesn't look up enough to do a more proper flying sort of deal. Not that he flies a lot, but you, you get the idea. Now, he does come with some extra hands. You got the finger pointing, you got a more gestural hand, and, and those look pretty good for what they are, and especially if you put him into a flight stand, which unfortunately is a flying character, quote-unquote. Yeah, he doesn't really come with that. But the actual figure itself, as I said, when I had more of an up-close look, most of the time McFarlane photos, they, they don't always do the figures justice, so I'm happy to say He's a lot cooler in hand. He reuses the Batrocitus body. It is not going to be exactly what this version of Wave Rider looks like from the comics. They've eh, taken some leeway here and there with some of the design elements. And some of the gold could have been painted just a little bit better. But for the most part, in reusing this body with a new head portrait... He does look pretty cool. So in that sense, I'm happy that I grabbed him, ultimately. Again, the power effects, they kind of sort of work. The extra hands, that's always nice to see. You get plenty of articulation in the body, except for the head portrait again. You can't get him looking all the way up to kind of do that more naturalistic flying pose. You can move the joints around, butterflies... You get the idea. Nothing special in the Articulation Avenue. But with Midnighter, he comes with his two Billy Clubs, World War II weapons, whatever you want to call these things. And he actually has two open hands to hold said weapons, which are nice, which I just left on there because he has a tighter grip. But it looks good, and he displays well, especially with these weapons. So that is nice to see. The extra punchy hands, those are great as well. And the figure... Again, much like Wave Rider being a repurpose, reuse, with some new parts and pieces, does work. Being that both of these are not characters where I'm going to be a huge stickler, enough has changed on these to differentiate from prior releases, and for that, I totally dig it. And I think the head portrait looks good on Midnighter, along with this jacket that comes from the Dark Knight Detective Batman, 
it works. It's a character that wears a trench coat. You got a trench coat. Now, I don't want to see too much reuse for 2024, right? But if you can make it work and make it so that enough has changed for each of the figure's releases, then no, I don't mind it. And I think that they've actually done this in this situation. You got double jointed everything. You also have some thigh articulation because again, this was the Dark Knight Detective Batman, which rode the motorcycle. He's got the butterflies. He has a little bit of a wave crunch. It's enough articulation for everybody, especially again, if you give him a flight stand and you wanna kinda recreate the artwork that you see on the back of his packaging, you can pretty much do that. Now, in terms of the scalature with other prior release DC Multiverse characters, and I will tell you that for as much as I care about these characters, especially their heights, I would say that this works just fine, right? We all know DC Multiverse heights are all over the place, but I would assume this is around the, the normalcy of what they should be, especially if you have the smaller Young Justice type characters, Red Hood, you get the idea, right? So they'll fit in pretty darn near perfect. And for those of you that want to do a blue and gold team up with Booster Gold as Wave Rider and then Blue Beetle, yeah, you can totally do that as well. So that will wrap it up for my look at two of the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Target Gold Label exclusives. Midnighter and Wave Rider. They're pretty well done for what they are, which is essentially the perfect store exclusive as these are very specific fan favorite characters, right? These are not generally on everybody's radar, but it makes for a nice store exclusive because if you have no idea who this is, well, you might just pass on it. And if you are a completionist, well, it gives you a little bit of a, a challenge to find them in stores. Although I'll tell you, mine had lots of these, so you probably shouldn't have too much of a problem finding these two. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We always have more DC Multiverse figures a coming. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.